News for Jack's working to learn more about a deadly shooting at Amazon's Northside Fulfillment, Fulfillment Center. It happened at the warehouse on Pecan Park Road. Police are still trying to determine what led up to the shooting, but they do say it was not an active shooter situation. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michalucci joins us live from outside the warehouse right now. Vic, what do we know so far? Well, Bruce, detectives are still very much investigating, trying to piece together what happened last night. But we do know from a police report that this is a 22-year-old woman who died inside that Amazon warehouse yesterday, died from gunshot wounds. We also know that a man was taken to the hospital also with gunshot wounds. We don't know exactly the circumstances. Police told us last night that this appeared to be domestic in uh, nature and both of them appeared to be Amazon employees, but we don't know who actually pulled the trigger if this was an attempted murder suicide. That's all part of the investigation right now. Let me step out and show you because it is still open. This fulfillment center still has employees coming and going. We're seeing the trucks and the shipments getting in and out of this north side location and we've seen that throughout the morning so certainly they have not shut down their operations but it was tense last night as there were concerns that there was still a shooter in the building they promptly evacuated the building uh, the area was put on lockdown as we saw dozens of first responders police officers firefighters SWAT team members coming through in the past hour we did get a statement from Amazon saying this is a terrible tragedy. Our thoughts are with the victims and their families and all those who have been impacted by this incident. We are working closely with the sheriff as they investigate. We have also learned from the company that this involved two people. The building was immediately evacuated and today they are offering counseling and support for employees. They said for any other questions, we'd have to go to JSO which is continuing its investigation. We did ask Amazon about its security measures. They did not respond directly to those questions. We're live on the north side, Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. Vic, the center opened in 2018. This is not the first incident there. It's not. There was one over the summer where there was a young man in line trying to get a job here. He was shot and killed. Nobody else uh, was killed in that situation, but certainly that also was a very, very scary thing. And, and I want to tell you, Bruce, I actually got to tour this in 2018 when it opened, and it, it's a very large operation. They have about 2,000 employees around the clock at this fulfillment center alone. And what we have been hearing from some of these employees who've asked to remain anonymous is there isn't any kind of metal detector for them going in. There is some sort of security, but some of them are claiming that it's just too lax. There's not an active shooter plan. And when you go out, that is when they say there's more security because uh, the company is concerned about people potentially taking any items.